A 1-0 win at home to Exeter City at the weekend, courtesy of Christian Dennis's 12th goal of the season, made it seven points from the last possible nine for Chesterfield and has kept them in touch with the teams above them, of which there are plenty. Forest Green Rovers coming to this one on a high. There's nothing like an injury time winner to lift spirits. And that's exactly what they got against Crew at the weekend. That's a cracking first touch. One ball just hoofed forward from the goal by Collins. I just wanted the ball played on quickly inside there, Dennis. But there still could be an opportunity here. Right footed effort, the goalkeeper does well on his near post. Got his angles right there, Collins, and made the save. But interesting how quickly they were carved open there, Forrest Green. Well, that's a push, surely. It's right in front of the assistant as well. Who actually didn't give it. It was a referee who gave it, but the player going down was Rowley. Nice little dink into the near post. I'm not sure if anybody's got a piece of that. It doesn't really matter. McCourt is claiming it. Reed with the ball. Uh, maybe he did just get a nick on this as it came through. Well, he's saying he did. And he was the one who celebrated the most convincingly, I would say, of those two or three players who all might have got a touch. Getting themselves into a bit of trouble here. Forest Green looking to try and play out from the back and they're giving the ball away. It's a bit foolish, to be honest. Left-footed shot there from Dennis, saved by Collins, who is put under unnecessary pressure. Decent effort again there from McCourt. Got good action on the ball there. Wasn't that far away. Looking to try and get the shot away, he did. Eventually there, Brown. And the accuracy was good. And you had a long time to line it up, though. Just chipped really in towards the near post. Well, number 15. Rowley just looking to make a move, McCourt. Well, Kellett, in fact, down that right-hand side, looking to get to the byline. They've got the cover out there, Forrest Green. There's only the one Chesterfield player, but another one comes into view now. They didn't really close the ball down fast enough there for his Green Rovers, just allowing Chesterfield to, to get the cross in. Look at the space. Can he take advantage of it on the turn? Brilliant save from Collins, who's having a lot to do in this Forest Green goal. Too much, to be honest. That's a poor ball out from the back from Chesterfield. Forest Green looking to return it. Quickly, Brown into the feet of Month, and he's gone into the challenge there, and it's not a good one, it's not a good one at all, and referee Robert Jones pulls out a red card. Rowley it is who felt that one, it's a straight red card. He can't quite believe it, the big number six, but he's going to have to go. Well, he's lost control of the ball and he's trying to win it back and you so often see that. He's obviously trying to play the ball there, but that's not the point. He didn't get the ball. And he made contact with the player. It was dangerous and the referee gives him a red card. Looking to work the ball around here. 
Chesterfield, they've got that extra player, of course. Oh, appeals for handball, not given. Ben and Williams, still the number three. The court goes straight through the keeper on the near post and Collins has finally made a mistake there, I'm afraid to say. I don't like to pick him out because he's been very good up until this point, but he really should have stopped this one on the near post. Teed up here, McCourt, by Ben and Williams. Not a great angle on this. And you can see from where the ball went in that the keeper should really have done better. So Chesterfield well and truly in control. Two goals up, a man up. He's looking a bit bleak for Forest Green at this moment in time. Into the near post, deflection off a defender, I think. Hits the face of the crossbar. Can they follow it up? And it's put just wide. And that really would have been game set and match if he'd scored, which he absolutely should have done there, Kellett. advice from the crowd there Forest Green looking to switch it onto the diagonal and they could get one back here yeah, they should get one back and they do pretty straightforward Christian Deutsch capitalizing some slack play at the back there by Chesterfield and it was very easy for Forest Green in the end poor mistake from Ben and Williams and he knows it he doesn't need anyone to tell him and Forest Green are back in this. There may be a man down, but they're only one goal down now. And they may as well go for it. There's no point in just meekly surrendering to a 2-1 a win. Chesterfield, though, with another opportunity here. And he just took a little bit too long there again, Kellett. Maybe he wasn't quite aware that the company was as close as it was. Everts, nice turnout from the central midfield player there. First time ball, great first time ball there from Kellerton. Dennis should have turned that one into the back of the net. Really good knock, and he knows that he didn't do as much as he might. Rowley. Well, continues around the outside. And there is a first goal of the evening for Dennis. He's been looking for one. He's been foraging, particularly in the second half. And that's a good finish too. And that really will put this beyond any doubt now. Just to feel re-establishing that two-goal lead. Cut back to the near post. And that's very neatly done took it nice and early and he just bent it right inside the post should get a free kick here the referee gives that one and Forrest Green might just have time to get one more back here Flipped into the near post, and they do get one back. Deutsch with the header. So Chesterfield 3, Forest Green 2 now, and they'll just try and race back to the centre circle and see if they can make something happen, anything happen between now and the end of the match. It's a, it's a good knock-in, but it's terrible marking, to be honest. Just allowed to get up there and nod it in, and it's been an interesting game, this. Forest Green... In a lot of ways, they've never really been quite in it, but they've always stayed close to Chesterfield, but not close enough. There goes 
The final whistle on the home side, run out winners. Goals from the court, a couple from him and one from Dennis. Two for Deutsch and Forest Green, but that red card early in the second half did them no favours. Full-time Chesterfield three, Forest Green two.